so yeah welcome back to the channel much appreciate for your visit and i'm on the 2021 cb 650 r new for 2021 this one so i'm going to give you my first impressions review on the on the new honda slow down a tad i've read the 2019 model i think it was last year now there is a review on there is a first ride on the on the channel as well if you wanted to watch that one and i think there's one or two changes to this one the main one being the suspension the front forks so i'll go through the specs when i pull over and do a walk around of the bike first impressions on this one very comfortable seat height of 810 millimeters it's fairly hard on the jacksy oh no, sir it's, well i've just got off my gsx r thousand r so I think I could be sitting on a rocking horse and uh, find that comfortable. <laughs> yeah, anyway, back to the bike. I think the bike comes in four different colours. Um, I love this one. I'll put on the screen what colour this one is, actually. Very comfortable. Nice riding position. What's going on here? It's a funny old place to be stopping. I've got to go easy on this, this bike has only done about 30 miles so it's not running sounds very revvy I think the red line's 12,000 rpm 94 brake horsepower 12,000 rpm with 64 newton meters of torque at 8,500 rpm but the revs are what 4000 seems a little bit revvy seems a little bit revvy just trying to get used to the bike it's actually quite a pleasure to ride after jumping off my sport bike lovely upright riding position So I've got to go easy because I ain't done many miles. Go down here. Just getting used to where all the controls are, the indicators and what have you. I know it was on this one, you've got the traction control button here where you'd normally have the flasher. It's a bit unusual. Don't really want to be turning that off. <laughs> it's the last thing I want to be doing. Lovely day for this today. Lovely day. But yeah, this has got the Showa um, separate function forks, the big piston forks. So you've got the compression and the rebound working alongside each other. 41 millimeters, 41 millimeter forks. Lovely looking thing. This is I, lo I love the look of this straight away. As soon as I saw this, as soon as you wheeled it out of the showroom, lovely looking bike. Feels quality, nice and solid. A little speed bump there. I think this comes with a Metzler tyre, uh, sorry not the Metzler, it's the Dunlop tyres, whereas the other model, I believe, the 2019 model, had Metzlers. Oh yes, might be wrong, but let me know in the comments if you have the 2019 model, what tyres you have. Be interested to know. But these are the Dunlops, I believe. Nice wheels, 17 inch alloy wheels on this, cast alloy wheels with a steel diamond frame once we get on the nationals I'm going to open her up a little bit see what she sounds like it's going to test the brakes nothing behind yeah plenty of feel in the brakes there what with this being new they're probably not bedded in properly so, I'll give it a chance. I think again, I just straight out of the show on this after after a pre-delivery inspection. It's got nice bronze-coloured wheels on this as well. And you'll see when I do the walk around the wheels. Lovely, lovely um, looking wheels. Lovely colour. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Good visibility through the mirrors as well. I'm sure you can adjust that one a tad. 
and that one this is def definitely one of those bikes that you can just jump on and ride it doesn't take that much thought that much effort it would make an excellent commuter excellent commute with this and also it can be configured to the A2 license so your restricted license 35 kilowatt I think it's 47 brake horsepower for the learner rider the new rider very nice some interesting colours as well I believe <coughs> oh what a lovely day perfect day for this perfect day the switch gear looks fairly good quality as well like I say the only thing I have noticed straight away is the let's have a look down here is the um like I say, the, the traction control button. Lovely bar, look, the bars are in a lovely position as well. I think they've been modified slightly from the, the earlier model. Make it a bit more easier on the low speed sort of U-turns and your turn in circle. No, no quick shifter or auto blipper on this, so... Like I say, it's one thing I am used to on a lot of the bikes I ride. Got the quick shifter and the auto blipper. I don't know if it's an added extra or whether, whether you could upgrade to it we'll have to find out it's also got an, uh, the LCD display there now there's a lot of criticism regarding the older LCD display not being readable now this this is very crisp very crisp indeed got no complaints about that and all the information is there you've got obviously your speed your temperature yeah, it's only done 35 miles this it's claiming on there 66 miles per gallon I think it's a 15.4 litre fuel tank. I'm not too sure on the MPG, so I'm not going to quote any figures. It's got the rev counter here and your gear indicator in the middle there. Now that is crisp, very crisp. Yeah, fairly grunty. Fairly grunty. 650, 16 valve, double, over, double overhead cam engine. not intimidating at all to ride this so easy fills you with loads of confidence check the brakes again yeah there's plenty of plenty of feel there plenty of feel I'll say they, these new bikes now it's very difficult to pick holes in them they're all they're all of a very high standard all of a very high standard lovely looking bikes lovely looking bikes very very nimble very flickable it's got the nice LED headlights with the halo daytime runner nights which you'll see when I do the walk around no expense spared again no expense spared not got this bike for too long today so would be nice to have it for a bit longer but there you go it's just a sort of my first ride first ride review really we'll look for somewhere nice pull over and we'll have a walk around of the bike I think you'll be very surprised you know it's with one or two subtle changes to the bike mainly being like I say the front forks and the the LCD display has changed slightly there no TFT on this obviously you um to keep the price down I should think a little bit but it's plenty all the information's there it's all there tips in lovely in the into the corners I'm gonna take a right here no self cancelling indicators on this either not like the triumphs and other models oh. a bit notchy with the gears there it's probably because it's new oh that's it yeah it's a bit clunky on the gearbox but not so I think it's because it's not quite run in yet so you're gonna to have to expect a little bit of that it's acceptable as long as it's not like it after a, a thousand miles. <laughs> Very nice. Nice, nice. OK, 
can't grumble at all really. I say when I find a nice suitable spot we'll pull over and do a walk around. Switch gear is nice and easy, nice and straightforward. So on the right there you've got your, your kill switch and your start button here. And let's say on the left cluster here you've got your traction control button here. Your low and your high beam there and your flasher if you push that one down. So rather than it being there it's, it's here on the switch. Hazards there. I think this has got the, the daytime running lights on the indicators as well which are on permanently. Which I quite like them. I know I know there's mixed views on, on them but I quite like them. I think they look quite smart. Uh, need to find somewhere to pull over. Not cause any bother. And I'll take you through the specs of the bike. Like I say, you can you can have this restricted down to the AT license for the 35 kilowatt, and then grow into the larger bike scene, or even you know have this one unrestricted uh, when you're ready. Now we're coming into the village of Roxham. I'll say the seat, the seat height I believe is 810 millimetres, fairly comfortable. I've got my foot flat, my feet are flat on the on the road there, flat on the ground. The weight, the weight of the bike is 202 kilograms. 202 kilograms. Which you can't feel any weight there whatsoever. That's the wet weight as well, I believe. So I'll say it's fairly low down weight, I should think. And we'll find somewhere nice to pull in. A few people wandering about today, making the most of the sunshine. All right, let's go down here. There we go. Oh, just press the horn then instead of the uh, the cancel indi the indicator cancel button. <laughs> That's twice I've done that now. <laughs> All right. Find a nice little spot to pull in. I'll say that dash is very crisp, very crisp. Just pull over here in the sun. Nothing behind. What's it like to find neutral? Yeah, I'm in neutral. Yeah, straight down into neutral. Side stand. Very good. Cut the bike out as well. Well, there she is. The CB650R 2021 model. So um, I'll just take my gloves off and uh, we'll run through the specs. Sports Street Naked, the Sports Street Naked Neo Sports Calf Style, and whatever that means. Very nice, very nice indeed. Comes with full LED lighting, and I quite like that. It's got the the kind of halo light there with the daytime running lights on the on the indicators actually quite like that. Um, full LED lighting. The, uh, the LCD is, is the new dash as you saw. Very nice that. I can't find that. I think that's very crisp. A big improvement to the last model. Um, the colours. comes in four colours. Graphite black. The, the matte jeans blue metallic. Which is this one. And I, lo I love the colour. It's a lovely colour. Don't know how that will fare up. Um, you know with... with um, wear and polish and what have you and scratches maybe but yeah a lovely bike i love the exhaust as well how they you know there's the four into one exhaust there as well absolutely lovely yeah the other colors uh, the other two colors are candy chromosphere red chromosphere red and matte chris krypton silver metallic well that's a mouthful <laughs> yeah so anyway the engine is a 650 well, 649cc fuel injected inline four cylinder 16 valve double overhead cam, which will give you 64 newton meters of torque at eight and a half thousand rpm and 94 brake horsepower at 12,000 rpm. Cast alloy swing and arm plus 17 inch alloy wheels with, I believe, a Dunlop tyres. Believe they are Dunlop tyres, are they? Yeah, Dunlops. Um, 
Yeah, I believe the 2019 model had Metzler tyres, but yeah, yeah, I might be wrong anyway. I might be wrong on that. The dry weight, uh, sorry, the wet weight is 202 kilograms, which is not heavy at all really for the middleweight bike. Yeah. Seat height, 810 millimeter seat height. Um, brakes, now the front brakes are 310 uh, floating discs, dual discs, and four pot calipers. So plenty of stop and power there. The rear is a 240 millimeter disc and a single pot caliper. Nissan again. So yeah. And one of the main changes on this bike are the the forks. So we've got the new show of 41 millimeter, the separate function big piston upside down forks. And they actually fit got a lovely feel to them. They're non-adjustable though. Non-adjustable there. So yeah, 15.4 uh, litre fuel tank, and this is this bike is coming in at a reasonable 7,299. So <laughs> yeah, I think it's about 100 quid more than the Triumph Trident. So the rear shock here also is um, got 10 uh, adjustments, I believe, for your your preload just here. Yeah. Very nice, lovely bronze colour here on these covers. I think a lot of the a lot of the other changes are internal to the engine to get it through its Euro 5 um, standards uh, and to make it all Euro 5 compliant. Right, let's jump back on. <coughs> right, some more. There we go. Take a right here, try and turn the indicator on without hitting the horn. The button cluster though is something that you get used to. You can't not buy a bike because of, you know, the, uh, the button cluster. The button controls, you know. You, you, will, you get used to things like that. So even if you did turn the traction control off by mistake, you know, there's a light what comes on on there. I think we'll try it there. So, yeah, so you've got a light comes on there as well. So, better turn that back on. You just press pull and hold, pull and hold. So, like on these corners. Oh. Help if I picked a nice part of the road there. Close that down. Very nice. Like I say again, this is one of those bikes you can just jump on. And um, without too many, too many bother, too much bother, just gelling at the bike. Gearbox is nice and smooth as well. Lovely and smooth. Very impressed. Very impressed. So it'd be nice to have this bike for a little bit longer to uh, give you sort of like a more full-on review of the bike. Maybe test the lights at night and and what have you. This is pretty much my, my sort of first ride review of the bike. And so far, yeah, I could see myself on one. Don't know if I've got any more room in the stable <laughs> for any more bikes. All the funds, actually. But for this bike, I'll slow down a tad. This bike's coming in at, I think it's 7299, did I say? I think it's 7299. And again, a lot of bike for the money. A lot of bike for the money. Very nice indeed. Feels very planted on the road. There's no issues at all with the dash. I think I remember it last time. I might have even criticised it on the last, on the 2019 model with the dash. But some of the, some other models have got, you know, you can tilt the screen manually. Not on this though, but you, you don't need to. I say there's no sun glare on there at all. It's got a sunny day today as well, and there's no there's no glare on there. All the information's there for you. You've got the time at the top. Actually, where's the fuel gauge? Oh, I can see the fuel gauge there. Yeah, so we've got sort of three quarters of a tank there. Which is very good because not all bikes have got fuel gauges. 
and that's something that you, de you definitely need you don't want to be sort of jumping on the bike and shaking the bike just to see what fuel you got in there before you go out for a ride well if you're new to the channel anyway and you're uh, just passing through consider hitting that subscribe button hit the notification bell be much appreciated much appreciated plenty more content coming plenty more content coming on the channel uh, mainly all the uh, all sorts of bike reviews um, hopefully be a few more of them on the way shortly let's have a look down here suspension is uh, I would say fair to middle really with the suspension I mean it's a fairly bumpy road this it's a fairly bumpy road and oh, <laughs> it's probably um, right in the sweet spot I should think I like say you don't want it too soft, you don't want it too hard, you want it just in the middle. Oh. And I've been on the bike now for the best part of 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and the old Jaxie's not feeling the any problems. <laughs> the last time I've just got off my sports bike. And uh, yeah, you could be sitting on a rocking horse, a wooden rocking horse, and that'd be more comfortable than, than the sports bike. <laughs> Yeah, let me know if you're maybe looking, if maybe you've got the 2019 model and you're looking at upgrading, thank you. Let me know in the comments what you think, you know, if you test rode one. What do you think of them? My first impressions are very good, like, so it's very difficult to find any faults really with most of these new new models because they're all, they're all, you know, high quality. The only thing I will say with this is the gearbox does seem a bit, a bit, little bit stiff, a little bit clunky maybe, but that has only done four, well, 40 miles now, so it's not, not really a problem, I don't think. Overall, very good. Very good. I think probably as well, uh, like I say, it'd be a very good commuter bike, a daily commuter probably be very good at filtering through traffic what a lovely little village here <laughs> lovely horning very popular in the summer months this with um, the old tourists nice broad a few little nice restaurants by the river Let's swing it round Oh, I've done it again then. Just press the horn. <laughs> they looked at me then, there's that couple there as if to say, you're giving the horn at me. <laughs> That's three times I've done that now. I've fat fingered the horn. <laughs> oh, I'll go easy round here. There's lots of gravel in the road. Yeah, it's nice to take the bike on sort of, you know, all, all different types of road surfaces. Oh my god, look at the mud in the road here. Don't think they'd be too pleased if I took the bike back covered in in mud. Like I said, they just wheeled this out of the showroom, so. Thank you. Nice day for a walk, sir. <laughs> Brakes are very good, very good. I think the competition for this is probably the Triumph Trident, maybe the SV650, uh, the, the Triumph Street Triple, which is one of the bikes I own. Um, is a lot more sporty and powerful than, the, than this, uh, on my first impressions anyway, but it's a bigger engine. It's a 765 engine, the, the Triumph got a nice little roar as well and a nice intake uh, sound when you open this up take a left here yeah the brakes are very good very good <coughs> like I say the sun's shining on that dash now and that's perfectly readable perfectly readable responsive it does sound a bit revvy 
the revs are now at four and a half thousand RPM. Does sound a bit revy. At red line's at twelve thousand, I believe. Just start, just yeah, twelve thousand RPM. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my first ride review of the CB650R, the 2021 CB650R. And uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend a test ride. Get yourself out to your local dealers, get yourself on a test ride. I think you'll enjoy it. I say, I don't know, like I say, if you've already got the 2019 model, whether you, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Would you upgrade for the, you know, for the, the sake of the, the, you know, the additional changes, the suspension, the, you know, the little changes they've made to this bike. Anyway, thanks for joining me and uh, take care and hopefully see you on the next video. See ya.